My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Elden Ring, the Siofra River Bank, uh, wherein we have been absolutely clowning. Oh, multiple of them can light up. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I figured out what's going on with the, uh, the previous sconce we lit up as well. Looks like there's multiples too. Ah, yes, where we have been absolutely controlling the land octopuses. Very, very easy. Very, very simply. Am I? Okay, so that one up there is still lit. So it seems like my expedition through here is going to be trying to light as many of those as possible. No, they're all gonna run. I just want some bones. Just give me your bones. I'll leave you alive if you walk away floppy. Ah, hello. I'm afraid. It is your time to die. And hopefully donate to me that incredible weapon. What was that? Third swing and jump attack. And not necessarily a jump attack, but still powerful. So two jump attacks and one basic. We'll put these on the ground. Okay, one jump attack and two basic. We'll put them on the ground. Some dwelling arrows, some dukist herbs, and a great horned headband. That looks like we managed to get an item. Great horned headband. Headband worn by a pair, sorry, decorated by a pair of great horns, worn by ancestral follower warriors. The ancestral followers keep their distance from the air tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very flesh and indeed their souls. I'm absolutely putting that on. I don't care what I have to take off. Pop the pauldron back on put those on uh, yep that's all I can do oh come on hell yes I'm uh I'm actually gonna go and pop another one of the silver pickled foul feet because we got that without any increased item discovery although I don't know how long the foul foot is gonna last and I don't know if I'm gonna find any more of the Ancestral Warriors anytime soon. So maybe that wasn't uh, my best sequencing play of all time, but he's got the spirit. <laughs> it's of the Ancestral Followers that I have to slay, I mean. I've got the spirits of the Ancestral Followers that I need to find and slay. Ooh, there's bound to be more over here. Arterial oh, Leaf. Really? I mean, come on, they have to spawn. An inverted hawk heater shield. The inverted hawk heater shield. A medium sized metal shield, easier to handle than a kite shield. The inverted hawk is the symbol of the company of slaves ordered to explore the Eternal City. And it was on your body. Interesting. So this area... It, wait, hang on. The Eternal City? Wasn't Celia the Eternal City? Why is Siofra now the Eternal City? I mean, I did know the Eternal City was underground. Maybe the Eternal City is, you know, Siofra is the underground city. And they were just referring to it in Cellar. So the reference they made to it in Cellar was once we killed the Nox Guardians, the bosses of the area, or at least the first bosses of the area we've encountered, uh, the sword they dropped said that it was given to Guardians of the Eternal City. So it's possible that those bosses are displaced? Hmm... The sword is definitely theirs, though, so... That one's not changing. Map of the Sierra River, thank you. 
Okay. So there's the river depths entrance. Wait a second. The rest of the map doesn't look like. Wait. Huh? So you're for real, uh, real world depths. Yes. There's multiple levels to this. We we emerge under, I think, this entire construction. Yeah, we're not even looking at the the right level for us right now. Okay, that's there on the drop, and I can see one further in the distance as well. <sighs> Golden rune number six, spicy. Before I immediately go over to the item, let me just make sure nothing's gonna destroy me while I do so. Horn bow. Horn bow. Is that what we've been waiting for? Horn bow. Oh, <laughs> probably not. Uh, scales with int. It's also 14 decks, so it's a couple increases we would have to make there. Longbow made from the animal horn. Wielded by master hunters of the ancestral followers, imbues arrows fired with magic damage. Reveals its true worth when used with magic infused arrows. Its true worth. Its true worth. Its true worth. Especially because that was a purple item. I wonder if its true worth is going to be unlocking an area or... Something of that kind of importance. In the same way that a gesture can summon an NPC. Something more like that. Oh. My item find is down again as well. Should probably note that. Yeah, if they ever make an initial strike, their follow-ups actually become different. Their follow-ups, I think, become more aggressive. Down. Not my best work, but one down. <gasps> it's that magic they did! Excuse me? I want to drop an item and have that inform me a little bit about your world, your tribe, your your followers, your ancestry. Not for the moment, in the absolute least. Okay. I'm gonna take those bones and. Get up on the hill to get the lay of the land a bit better. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got him. Um, Mordukus Herba. There's so much in the way of collectibles down here. Because these give us the turtle neck meat. Which is extremely important. Wait, hang on. How did I get the first ones? Oh, right. I'm not too handy. Frankly. I was wondering why I was suddenly incapable. That'll make me decayed. Is this dog? I'm entirely going to deserve it when one of these turns around and whoops my butt. Hmm. That's a teleport right there. I mean, it's pretty close to the riverbank. Also, like... Is that... That's over there? Okay, fine. Because it looks like there's a stairway up into it and then an area to clear, so I do want to see that way, but... Ah. What the hell do I do about the water... 
the lightning sprites. My instincts say just avoid it. Entirely. I think, uh, I think I'm going to stick to those instincts for a little bit of time here, if possible. Some of the smithing stones, some Ducus Herba. Uh, they're getting pretty nearby and I'm this comfortable about it. I do want to see where this goes, though. Yeah, I guess. It's not necessarily going to respawn anything. And unless this new area immediately kills me. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too big of a problem. If you summon another player with a sign, multiplayer will begin with you as the host of fingers. Interesting. It's from there to here. It takes us just up onto the cliffside. Huh. Any second. What are they doing? They're rhythmically stomping and it looks like all of them are doing it. It seems they won't stop doing it. Oh, no. I was about to say, it seems they won't stop doing it even if they see me, but I don't think that one necessarily saw me. Probably just follow up with another heavy attack after that. Can I take one of their places? Do I have a stamp? What do you want? The ring? Dejection, six enemies. No, no, no. I guess Jump for Joy is the closest to a stamp I have, but. If they actually wanted me to use anything here, I would have access to it. Yeah, the further I go down here, the more I'm just going back to where I came from. Very start. It's... Ooh, there's a side of grace. Also... I haven't even checked, but do I have a reason to go and pick up my runes right now? I think I easily could do. That could be a 4,000, 5,000 maybe. Unfortunately, it will guide me immediately past the things that have already killed me prior. I don't feel like I have to kill all the land octopuses here, but I do feel like I have to kill all the land octopuses here as well. <laughs> I'm not certain which I actually feel, but it's one of those two. I've, I've whittled it down to two completely opposite options. Through great work there, smithing stone number three. Ooh, smithing stone number three, but it's two of them as well. Gonna wait for the lightning ball to go past. I don't need to randomly die like this. Thanks, crab. <laughs> Much appreciated. Sorry, crab. No! 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 <laughs> what am I supposed to do? The lightning, it's too much.
Well, now I'm certain that the collection of those souls is going to be worth it because there's 11,000 over there. Oh, man. I don't even know if riding past at full speed is going to be enough to evacuate when lightning decides to come to town. Do I actually want to start ascending the building as well? Yeah, it's going over to... Oh, that might have been too tight to squeeze. Collect, run. Seems to have been fine. Phew. Oh, hey, buddy. Take that early flask of physic as well there. A single charged R2 as well as a R1 is enough to get them down. Single charged heavy as well as a light. Rather. A sliver of meat for our troubles. But that is not the end of this adventure. Duck down over on this side to be able to continue. Beautiful. Yeah, no, I'd already seen too much up and available in these areas to be bamboozled by that one. Golden rune number three. I wouldn't be entirely averse to next time I find a side of grace, uh, bounce back out to the round table hold again. Maybe, maybe get some more upgrades on this weapon. Maybe. Um, I'm not medium load at the moment. If I. Nope. Nope, I can't use it. I really want to be able to get the torch out as well, but if I do that, I have to effectively just swap weapon back in the other direction again. Ah, uh, yes, this is what I was looking for. <gasps> the sound violin player! Don't you dare be an enemy. I love your tunes. Selling an album? Ooh, oh, a customer. <laughs> so very shocked by it. Material needed by Renala to grant re- You have a lot of very wild items, nascent butterfly, exceedingly rare to find. An arcane butterfly with translucent wings. Uh, the butterfly appears as if it's just emerged from its cocoon for its entire life. A bunch of soap. Three stone sword keys. A larval tear. Material required, sorry, uh, core of the creature of mimicry, known as a silver tear, as much a substance as it is a living organism. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew, being born anew, and now allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. So you can't change your class, but you can use this to change, uh, why well, reallocate the attributes that you've gotten from leveling up? I mean, yeah, I didn't need to restate it there. Soap, oil pot, and roped oil pot are in the Nomadic Warriors cookbook there, as well as dappled white cured meat and dappled cured meat. Is that a showtel as well? Yes, yes, yes. A dexterous weapon, not particularly for us. I think Goodbye. I'm... Until next time. You've had so... You've had so few people to speak to that you have forgotten how to speak, I think, is what's... The story being provided to us there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I... Oh, that's still short. Just use one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure that I can get all the stone sword keys, because... They're unique. Places need them. I don't want to have to come back here to get them. I don't know if I'm ever going to be crafting something that the nascent butterflies are used Bye. for, but if I need that, uh, hopefully I will remember that they are available here. I guarantee I will not remember. If the beast bone. So I can either go back into that area, which clearly doesn't want me there, 
Or I can accept, you know what? I got to the end of that line that I was trying to explore over there. Let's travel away. And if we are traveling away, oh no! Ah, I was gonna go to the round table hold. Do I really have to go to the river well depths and go back up? Wait, hang on. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just gonna go back to the round table hold to spend all of my, uh, how many souls do I have right now? 496. Yeah, let's, let's, let's teleport back in. Over to the right here, we'll be able to find the first of the areas previously seen on the map. Oh, this could totally be a boss fight area. Oh, I'd love it. Hallowhorn Green. Come on. You know what? Yes. I'm just walking in. Give me the reveal. Give me the vista. Stand up. Absolutely. I'm ready. Seriously? It bleeds. Come on. Hello, horn. I mean, you're. Clearly an elk. Clearly got horns. Hmm. Can I speak with you? No? Can I begin the fight by hitting you enough? Let's have a couple other wee glances around the environment before that. Another option would possibly be a gesture being necessary here that I do not have or know to use. And gosh, I'll say, it's the only salient object in this entire area. Clearly important. That said, there were rocks that bleed as well. Hmm. Back in the Kalid area, we started finding rocks that would spawn that texture of blood on strike. Obviously, they weren't going to aggro eventually. Hmm. Maybe that's a light all the sconces and then come back here for the boss fight. Deal. One little doubt that's just been eaten away at me is that I think I might have already walked past one of the one of the sconces that we should have to light here. Just assuming that it was the same as all the other sconces I'd already seen. Had I? Nope. We dealt with them all appropriately. Back on the hunt. So, we've done left, we've done forward, we've kind of hugged the left for a while. We've gone through the teleport in the center. First, I'm just going to make sure that we get away from the lightning. We've also ascended. We've tried to kill a bunch of the warriors. We've killed a bunch of the land octopuses. Well, the land octopodes. Far be it from me not to 
Properly pluralized Latin. Excuse me. What happened there? There you go. Don't start none if you don't want none. What is what is I thought we knew this rule. I thought we knew this rule since the 2000s. Talk. Garbage get hit. I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying that it's a publicly understood rule that you shouldn't expect I would necessarily not give a go at following. I want to try and bait this way a little bit. Specifically because I didn't know how many other of the low level land octopodes were near. Some day later. I'm gonna be very thankful to myself for the fact that I spent so much time absolutely destroying these. Even gave a strip of white flesh there, which also seems a particularly useful item for us. Or at least an increasingly useful item for us with all of the extra things we're finding that it can craft. Hearing a bell ring in the distance. Fine, but I'm not going to continue climbing now. Okay. We should now basically be back in the unexplored. Especially with a good feed on what still remains unexplored aside it. Hello. Interesting of you to spawn there. Are you aware of where I am at all? Or do they just spawn in response to anything happening in this area? I mean, it's normal for them to spawn just because anything happens in this area, but for them to attack a blank space, that's the strange behavior here. Oh. Oh, buddy, that easily could have gotten us. Okay, please, let me just flatten you, and then that'll make the rest of this... So much simpler. Down on the ground, bud. I am here to surpass you. Um, we'll burn this one too. I'm assuming there'll be four of them, just because it's the Standard number. You know, four corners of the area. Okay, that looks like one in the distance right there. One I've also probably not lit because of the adjacency of those lightning bugs. Right, and then this is back up to Stompsville. I'm going to head back for just a jaunt here and try and clear up the final it's right there yeah right right ahead of us I guess my first attempt He's probably just going to be riding past them very quickly and hoping that they entirely expend themselves not managing to strike me. 
looks like that totally can be the case. Also seems like very specifically these guys are trying to guard those sconces. down and polish him off. Beauteous. I'm going to assume that if anything had happened there, the game would have given me some notification. rather than leaving me to have to go and explore the map every time I discover one of them. So there must be at least one more. It's probably going to be in the center of this stomping ground. I was worried he was about to do that self-defensive situation there. That actually probably would have taken us down if he'd connected it. Uh, very small collectibles the entire way up here. A couple more golden runes. Still happy to see those, though. Are they all stomping in the direction of that town? No. Those ones appear to be stomping towards us. That is to say, this open area that we previously teleported into. And that's my concern, right? The fact that they seem to all be focusing on an individual space. And they're just waiting for someone to go there and... Be slain as sacrifice? That... Ultimately, that's what I'm thinking. And the stomps are to alert the beast that there is food nearby. But you know what? If that happens to us, that happens to us. That's fine. Ash of War square off. Nothing's jumped down yet, but I can see... Another sprout of the air tree over there, so that's another golden seed for us soon. Let's pop back on torrent for a bit. See, they're stomping into the distance. Okay, so there's not a central point that they are all stomping at. That actually sets my mind at ease. Quite a lot. Jump and jump and jump. Huh. Seems to be a weird kind of respect going on here. I'm just gonna... They didn't want to fight all the rats at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if I would have survived that roll. Better than dying. <laughs> what do you mean I die both ways? Okay. Pretty big bumps there. I'm talking both at and from them. That is insane how many of our enemies survive on just a sliver of HP to almost completely clean us up afterwards. My god, almost again. 
I'm not letting that happen. I'm going out like a chump. Yeah, a little bit of golden rune. That's fine. Frankly, I'll take anything for my efforts there. Even if the only thing I got rewarded for my efforts there was their death, I would have still happily signed up. Thank heck they body blocked each other for all of those attacks. Really helped us out there. A couple more of our flasks of Crimson Tears back in response. How the heck do you expect that I'm going to get over to that? What? I'll tell you, immediately the only thing I can think of would be if there is a secret bridge. An invisible one. Nope. That's going straight into the abyss. Ah, no mind. Just immediately discover it by rotating just a couple inches. I can hear the shiny in the distance, but it is... A lie. It's red for our flasks. Thank you for the golden seed. Yeah, those are kind of sites of serenity, effectively. They just, as a rule, don't like putting enemies there. Which I really appreciate. Absolutely nothing up in this area that I also care about. Okay, nothing to fall down for there. Alright. Let's try. I like purples. I will go for all of them. Just, just edge our way around here. Thank you. Slightly more. Perfect. Ah, oh, just a stone sword key. <laughs> I just purchased a bunch of those. I guess I'd be more excited if I had been seeing more stone sword entrances. But I'm seeing surprisingly few. Back on torrent. It's like a side passage around the mountain there. I want to go back here to see... Well, effectively, I want to see the end of that path. And whether or not we have another sconce to light. Because the last one we lit still didn't give us any notification anything had changed. See the Mist Warriors are over on the left hand side. Great. That's what I was wondering about. Whether or not we would just have a ranger who's doing ballista bolts or anything like that. It is. Look at the size of that arrow! Excuse me? Those are alive? One down. Two down. You know what? I'm actually taking this. Might kind of... Ah! I was about to say, might kind of be essential to us, and then immediately took a giant hit. Ooh! Speaking of exploring, trying to find if there is another sconce around here. 
There absolutely is. We've explored, and we found it. Yep. Oh, I've really gotten deep into this time. Oh boy. In fact, they didn't manage to break our poise slightly earlier than that. Oh god, stop it! My HP bar doesn't go that far. We're not used to the the lack of crowd control with this weapon is a bit tough for us especially coming from the laudron greatsword which specifically had a giant area of effect swing as one of its best initiating attacks I've got to find my equivalents for it, so... Yeah, R2 can be a clear. Can any of my R1s be a clear? No, it's, it's thumped down on all of them. The only sweep across is the R2, but unfortunately I can't really commit to an R2 at all of the times I might like to get an effect. Such as a sweep. Another thing burning, nothing in the environment appears to have changed. Fine. It would make sense for the final one to be up at the top. Damn it. Where are you? Where are the bolts even coming from? I can hardly respond to them if I don't know. Stay behind some cover. There it is. Well, unfortunately, I've spotted it, but... <laughs> I don't know what I can do about it. Oh no, there's more than one archer. Oh, buddy. Roll, roll. Keep rolling. I also don't have healing items at this point. Oh my God, for real? Thank you. Nope, I was discovering it, and now I'm sitting down. You can't do anything to me. We are below the well. Rightfully, I still need to go and finish them off. Mm, but maybe we'll do that later, after seeing what's up here. The Clarifying Horn Charm. And this is a talisman type item. Raise focus. An accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers raises focus. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of the long dead, uh, a long livid beast, continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. I'm gonna have to try wearing that over here. No, here? Here. Yeah, on the Hallowhorn grounds. It's even got a name! It 
absolutely has to be returned to later. You can cop a couple of these stone sword keys. Thankfully, we've been collecting a fair few. And there wouldn't be a path behind here if there wasn't something behind here, right? Maybe it's just the Grave Glovewit. Or the Ghost Glovewit, rather. Alright. Let's go up. Good lord, it is moving with haste. This is going, I think, above ground level. Uh, um, oh, he's just gonna get flung into space. <laughs> Kaled. Well, I'll be the deep sea off for a well. You know what, this definitely is Caleb, and that looks like a weeping Everjail even further up that we might happen to access and peruse. All of that seeming like it might occur in the next episode. Until then, my name is Morantz, and the name of the game has been Elden Ring. There's a series playlist on the top left of the screen. Down below is YouTube's recommendation of what it thinks you should watch next and stream past in the names of the people who are generously supporting your public on patreon.com slash rapsyplays, but are above the $10 tier. And special thanks for this episode to 3D. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.